Defense Exhibition is also an opportunity for the Czech Army to present the latest combat vehicles which are now in service with the Czech Armed Forces. This year, the Czech Army showcased a full range of different types of vehicles, including reconnaissance vehicles, artillery, tanks and more, and compare the old version and the new version now in service with the Czech Armed Forces. Behind me you can see one of the main important modernization of the Czech Armed Forces. You can see on the left side the old T-72 M1. This is the old Soviet-made main battle tank which was in service with the Czech Armed Forces since many years. And now on the right side you can see the new Leopard 2 A4 from Germany who is now the current main battle tank for the Czech Army. Flyer 72 is a vehicle that was selected by the United States Special Operations Command as the program of record to support their troops in the field. Uh, the vehicle has been used in both all combat conditions uh, for the last five and a half years and has performed very well. Well, the Flyer 72 is a modern vehicle created to replace what we would consider shortfalls from the Humvee. We needed a vehicle that was modernized, uh, one that had something like a triptronic transmission airbag suspension to reduce the stress on the soldiers while they are in the field moving across rugged terrain. The Flyer 72 vehicle is basically 72 inches wide and one of the things it's famous for is its ability to be transported by air. This can be transported in any platform that the United States Army has and most of our European and NATO allies. Uh, as well as being 72 inches in width, the vehicle is made on a space modular frame so that it can be configured to different models. Basically, it would be considered a family of vehicles. So one vehicle could frame and drivetrain could produce 15 different vehicles off of the same frame and platform. This uh, vehicle has uh, field armor. That way a commander can go into the field in a condition that is not as threatening, but if the situation changes, he has an option to apply armor to the vehicle in the field within his own unit. Uh, the vehicle also uh, is well designed to meet those needs based upon the weight that is placed on the vehicle from the armor. This vehicle has the one-to-one -one payload ratio with 13,000 pounds as his gross vehicle weight. Bi-turbo, uh, two-liter diesel engine in it, get about 225 horsepower. It's highly capable and that doesn't degrade anything for this vehicle has a maximum speed of 95 miles per hour. This vehicle can go places that other vehicles cannot go. Uh, what we have found from combat is, is that a lot of vehicles that stay on roads were normally hit by improvised explosive devices. This vehicle keeps off of the road and reduces the risk to the soldiers. You know, our, our thought in Flyer is, it's critical that we bring home the sons and daughters and mothers and fathers of our nation home by providing them the best capability that we can. On the booth of KMDS, a joint venture between Nexter for France and KMW from Germany, the company presents a new version of the Leopard 2, the Leopard 2 A8, the new version of the Leopard who will enter in service with the German army. The German government confirms an order of 16 Leopard 2 A8 for the German army to replace the Leopard 2 A6 donated to Ukraine. The ID of the new Leopard 2 A8 continue to have the same main armament. It consists of a 120mm L55 main gun. One of the new unique features of the 2A8 Leopard 2 is the integration of the Rafale Trophy APS Active Protection System. The layout of the vehicle seems the same with the driver at the front and a three crew members in the turret, including tank commander, gunner and loader. There is also an increase of armor protection at the front of the vehicle and also on the side. The 
Czech company STV Group, in collaboration with the German company Rheinmetall, present a new air defense system, the Skyranger Erlikon 30mm. It is a new air defense missile system. The turret is designed to be integrated on wheel or tracked armored vehicles. The main armament consists of one 30mm automatic cannon. There is also a missile launcher mounted to the left of the turret. There is two launchers or four launchers which can be fired the Mistral or the Stinger surface to air missile. The turret is also protected to offer ballistic protection to level 4, Stanak 4569. There is also electro optics mounted on the roof of the turret which can integrate day and night vision and also laser range finder. Thank you.